Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna demo self-stick liquid protection fabric from 3M, and here helping us out is Joanna Murrieta. Joanna, welcome, how are you? Good, how are you, Tom? I am awesome, it is good to have you here. I'm excited, I know we got a really cool demonstration going here, so there's I'm uh, excited to be here. Yeah, this is neat. So give us a little background on uh, what we're gonna be talking about today. Perfect, this is our brand new surface protection product called 3M brand self-stick liquid protection fabric. Mm -hmm. Self-stick for short, okay. it's an impermeable, self-adhering, temporary surface protection fabric. It offers customers the ability to trap dirt, dust, debris, while also protecting against liquids and light abrasion. Many industries benefit from using this in all the different sizes that we have available. You have a few of them displayed here, some larger ones over here from mm -hmm. 56 inch all the way to the four inch rolls behind us, four and six inch, mm -hmm. and a variety of different floor and wall applicators. You actually have one of our floor applicators right over there. I like that. Um, we got PPE sitting on the counter right here just in case we needed it. And you wanna make sure that you always wear the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. So we don't need it for this one, but remember safety is always priority number one. Okay, so now, this actually looks like my garage floor that you have, right? Do you guys like cut a little piece out of it and just bring it here or what? Well, I mean, I did talk to some people. I heard about the spills and it's kind of felt inspired. Oh <laughs> man, okay, I gotta see this. All right, so this is a panel that's simulating a cement floor. And mm -hmm. so we have a variety of different spills that are just really common in an industrial facility. We have some body filler, right. some sealer, some paint and some adhesive. Okay. So really all of these spills would have been extremely arduous to clean up and time consuming and all of that is time that really is unproductive and not getting time that we're getting paid for. So we want to make that a little bit easier by putting down some self-stick liquid protection fabric. And within a 14-day window, you can just leave it down, let all those spills kind of just get caught right in there, and then just peel it up. We recommend to peel it up at a 90-degree angle, and you have completely clean removal there. Oh my gosh, there's nothing underneath that. Nope, nothing at all. Okay, now let's say I'm in a facility and I'm moving some parts around, small or large, good for that so things don't get damaged? That's actually a great idea. So the fabric itself is extremely conformable and so since it has that adhesive layer behind it, you can just stick it to any of the parts and you want to move around the facility, for example, you don't want them to get scratched, you want mm -hmm. them to stay protected, okay. um, you don't want them to lose any of their value as you're working on them, right? So then you just put down that cell stick, wrap the part up, move it around the facility and that nice non-woven uh, non layer that's super right. soft and teddy bear smooth is able to protect that from getting scratched. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it does feel soft. And, and we're actually gonna try this right here. Okay, this is nothing pre-done. We're actually gonna spill something and, and see if it really works, right? All right, let's do it. I like that smile, she's like, yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Tom, whatever you want, it's gonna work, I don't spill care. Spill away. Okay, we got a little Kool-Aid here, so I'm just gonna do a little, little oh. Oh wow, that's kind of spread out over there, so okay. All right, so now um, do we let it just go through or how do we do this? So good point, Tom. This is not a sorbent material. This okay. is a impermeable fabric. So okay. what it does is when it's pulled like this, we do suggest that you clean that up. Okay. The nice thing about it is that once you clean it up, you really don't have to peel it up. If it was on a floor, for example, and you had this spill, you just clean up that spill, clean up right. the pooling, okay. leave it down once you're in that 14 day window, then you can clean that, uh, then peel that up. But if it's not, then you can just see that you can just leave it down, keep using it. No need to waste warm material. And then you can see if you want to try it now, that it, none of that soaked through. It looks like it went through, but you're saying it didn't. Nope. Okay, all right, okay, let's do this like uh, you recommended there. So let's see what happens underneath. Here we go. Wow. Beautiful. That did not go through, that's A. <laughs> there is nothing, nothing went through. Nothing at all. That's absolutely amazing. That is very cool. Well, that is good stuff right there. I'm definitely gonna steal some of this and wrap the kids or something so they don't I get mean, dirty. I mean, it's totally safe and soft. I love it, that's cool. Well, Joanna, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Excellent, good stuff. Great demonstration right there. If you have any questions, contact Motion Industries. I know they'll be able to help you out. As you saw, PPE, didn't really need it, but remember, that's always priority number one. Be safe. Always wear the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. Priority two, head to mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host for another great video. Hey, thanks so much for watching.